Today we're going to be mounting some passing lights on a 2008 Yamaha V-Star uh, 1100 Classic and what we have included with the kit here is we have uh, two passing lights we have a light bar a wiring harness and the hardware that we need to mount the passing lights and your existing turn signals on the light bar so we're going to go ahead and uh, get started what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-assemble the light bar and the passing lamps inside the house then I'll take them outside and uh, put them on the motorcycle and uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the uh, passing light assembly apart and I've already uh, taken it apart by taking one screw out right there they come right apart and uh, we'll be working with the shell right for right now um, I should say on this one here it has an on off switch and that will go on the left hand side of the light bar and this is the second passing light here and uh, you'll notice there's no switch on this one and so now I will be um, taking the mounting hardware and uh, mounting the passing lamps to the light bar and now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to take this uh, bolt here and you can see there's a hole in it for the wire to go through and we will take the passing light and just stick it right through the hole and then we take this uh, swivel washer here you can see there's a rounded edge on it and we will put the rounded edge towards the passing light then we'll take the light bar and you notice this has the switch on it so we will put that on the left hand side and then we will take the uh, second swivel washer and with the swivel part facing out we will put that on the bolt and then we take this uh, fancy looking nut here um, and you can see the uh, concave surface there and we will just screw that right onto the bolt here and what the swivel washers do is they allow the um, passing lamp to to be mo to move to be adjusted to be tilted and angled and um, so we'll stop in right here and I will assemble the other side the same way that I assembled this side here and now we come to the wiring part and we have one wire here with a fuse on it and we have one wire here with two connectors on it now what we'll do is we will run the wire through the light bar here and then we will run it up into the light and this wire with the two connectors goes from your light on the right side to the light on your left side uh, this the light with the switch is considered the left hand side and then this wire with the fuse and the connector on it will go through the light bar through the center through the light bar uh, through the nut up into the headlight here or the passing light and you can see you've got two connectors here and so what that will do is the power will come up uh, feed this passing light here and then send power back down through to the second passing light there and so we'll go ahead and do that uh, to make that easier I have a piece of a mechanics wire here and uh, what I'll do is I'll fish this through the light bar uh, put a little tape on the end of the wire and tape it to the mechanics wire to help pull it through um, this is uh, just very very light wire uh, but it's pretty solid so it will uh, go through the light bar fairly easily so we'll get that done and you can see I tipped the light bar over and what we'll do is um, straighten that wire out and uh, pulling your mechanics wire we just pull this wire right through and you can see how easy that is okay for the second wire uh, we're going to take the connector and feed it up this way um, oops this way because you see the switch here um, we'll feed it up this way and out the end of the light bar now 
Now this one here, I'm just going to try to push through because it, yep, it went right through. Okay. And so now we will take our mechanics wire off. And you can see here that I have the wires pulled through and coming right through into the left passing light. And then what I will do is I will just connect these two connectors together and then uh, I will take a little tape and uh, tape them up to keep them securely uh, put together. And another thing that I did too is I took a little black electrical tape and wrapped it around the wires. Uh, these wires will eventually go into the light bar from an angle here and so that will kind of protect the wires from chafing there too. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And now we have the right side done and once again I uh, taped up the wire going through um, to help prevent any shorting uh, if the wire gets a little chafed from vibration. And uh, I should mention that um, the wires are color coded. We have a red and yellow wire. And the light or the wire that you ran from the left light to the right light is red and yellow. And so you match the red and yellow wire up with the headlight wire going to the switch or the passing lamp. And the red, solid red, and solid red wire come out to this fused end here. And uh, now this is where I'm going to probably not follow the instructions. Um, what they want you to do next is center the lights and tighten them up. But I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this apart. I'm going to mount it on my bike and then center them uh, while they're on my bike. I think um, before I put the headlights in, because once you put the headlights in, or the passing lights there, uh, you can't move them unless you take the passing lamps back out. So I'm going to mount them on the bike and uh, tighten these, um, tighten the bolt and the nut down, and then I'll put the uh, passing lamp back in. Uh, at that point in time, you also, um, we're going to take the turn signals off, and the turn signals are going to mount facing down. So we'll start that project now. And now we're kind of on the bike end here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this headlight out. Uh, we're going to have to take these turn signals off here. And uh, before you go ahead and do that, um, make sure you disconnect your battery. Uh, you don't want any surprises. You don't want any sparks and fires and stuff like that. And so now I will start doing that. And now we have the uh, headlight assembly removed. And uh, that is held in by two screws, uh, one right here and one right here, which would be right here and right here. And then you just take the, the plug here and unplug your headlight. And then you disconnect all the wires going to your turn signals. Now the wires are color coded, uh, but before you unplug it, just make sure they are. And uh, then we will remove the turn signals. And I have the uh, wires disconnected, and uh, they are free to push through. And now I'm thinking I have the two uh, bolts on the turn signals loosened. Now what I'm thinking is uh, I have two um, socket head cap screws here, and I think I'm going to take those out and just pull the whole light bar out and then uh, take the turn signals off. I think that would probably be the easiest way to go. So that's what we'll do next. And now I'm just going to show you a picture of the uh, turn signal. And uh, there's a bolt that goes through that uh, puts pressure on the um, turn signal clamp, which is mounted in rubber. Uh, there's also a little slot, so you looks like you'll need to take that out, take the bolt right out. And then you just have to rock it back and forth. And um, let's see if I can get in the camera here. Just rock it back and forth and uh, feed your wires through, your, your uh, turn signal wires through at the same time. 